What's going on everybody? Just gonna try to install the Peltox Slim in my AVG Corsa R. This is the dual version, so I'm gonna install one for the Corsa R and one for the Arai Corsair X. It's gonna be another video. So let's open. So here you're gonna find two USB cable. This is the micro USB. I wish it was the USB C but mm. What can we do? And two universal USB charger. I'm assuming this obviously for the mic. And this for the other mics. So there's two versions of two two different mics. And this for the bracket, small ones or big ones. So let's just put this here for now. Looks the same size to me. Okay, so it's obviously two of them. So this is the slim one. See how slim is it? It's gonna barely show outside the helmet. Oh, okay, here it is. So this is the smaller one, this is the larger one. So, I will use the larger one. Which... Hmm, you put it there. Like that. Like that, and then this is gonna be in the back of the helmet. I'll show you that later. This is a slim back. Very nice. Here's the USB. And you will have to actually do the firmware update. I will also show you how to do that. Okay, let's put that aside. Let's keep this one here. Because we're gonna use this one later. Here, I'm gonna put these ones back. And this one already comes with it in the back. No, it's another one here. So we don't even need that one. Okay. Here, all right, so we have two kind of mics. This mic, again, two of them because this is the duo package. So two of them, or um, here it is. Or you can put the mic, which I actually gonna use this one, not this one. This is more for the modular helmets, I guess, like the Neotech 2 or 1. Um, or any other modular, sport modular or something. So we're gonna use this one. There's like a lot of different 3M Velcros. Oh, okay, here's the thing. So it actually comes with that's the 40 millimeter speakers and 35 millimeter speakers if you actually think this is big or more bulky so this is so nice from them they actually include both of them so I'm gonna only use that one I'm gonna leave, leave the other one for the other helmet Okay, I'm gonna close that, put it back. Okay, so I already installed the mic before, if you guys can see it here. Okay, 
Okay, so now I'm just gonna have to get the cheek pads out. These are the cheek pads, really nice, really amazing helmet. It's kind of expensive though, it's almost, I think it's $900 right now. I'll put the link in the description. So, this one has actually funny, like, so this is the hot and the cold sides. So there's two sides, really premium helmet, love it. Okay. So, like I said before, I put the microphone here, cable is here, so I'm going to have to run the helmet, so I'm going to put it there, so I'm going to picture here, mm, yeah, that should be right. So even if you watch the RevZilla review about that Corsair, Corsa R, they're, they're right, there's no opening for the speakers, so, but it's kind of funny enough because this is perfect right next to my ears, so there's no gap, there's no air, this is perfect like that. There's two of them here, so this is going to be here, I'm not going to have to put it now because I have to put first the lining liner so here and there so let me put the speaker first and I mean the, f the um, microphone just like that and the headphone just like that kind of weird that doesn't say like left or right but I'm assuming the short one gonna be on the mm, right ears because this is the closer one so I'm gonna put that one here like that and I'm gonna put the other one here Like that. I'm gonna try to put hide the cable behind the liner. Again, this is the Corsair R DOT and ECE. So I'm gonna hide all the cables in the back. And the microphone one I have to like keep it for now here. Okay, I'm gonna put this one outside for now. I'm gonna try to install the liner somehow. Okay. That's gonna be the last thing. So let me put that first here. Kind of tricky because of the emergency pull here, here, and here. Mm. Let me see how I'm gonna put this one. All right, let's continue. that there 
this is the only problem I'm actually facing right now. So, let's try to put it somehow. Just push it. Trying to hide the microphone mic too. Here and oh, I'm sorry, it's taking too long, but you have to get it right. So... Last one is here. Boom. That's it. So it's not really like big at all. It's not gonna have any wind noise, anything. This is the battery. They said it lasts like, I don't know, 16 hours or something. Use the specs if you guys wanna stop. It's almost the best, way better than Sena. Even the 30K. This one has their own mesh also. So mesh, aerodynamics, neutral, universal, and range. Sounds really nice. I even tried to buy that new uh, speaker. I think it's a version three, and this is still the same or even better. Also has weatherproof, noise filtering, and fully features GPS and blah, blah, blah. It's really nice. And boom, here it is. So now let me try to show you how to... Get 
Megint memek. There it is. Need a USB cable. Just a normal USB cable. Plug it in. And it's gonna be here. It's gonna open that part. And it should show right now here. It's reading from the device. Let's refresh maybe. Hmm. Look at Facebook. I don't have time to do that. Okay. Okay, I just sees it right now. All right, so I'm gonna name this one Cardo Slim One, because I have two of them. So one, click save. Okay, it's synchronizing right now. Okay, awesome. It will tell you actually. So this is a firmware 4.0. Uh, parallel audio switch, that and that and that. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Okay, and all your intercoms. So let's just first upgrade it. Okay. So it's actually doing it right now. Come on. Boom. Okay, it's verifying. So it take a good five minutes. That's all you need.
And it's done. Ooh. That's all you need. That's all. So now it's 4.2. Connect. Well, I hope you guys like this video. It's a really nice system and nice, amazing freaking helmet. Bye bye.